Ian, three points, clean sheet, away from home. Happy man? Very happy. Yeah, very happy. I thought it was a pretty composed performance uh, throughout. So uh, I thought we didn't really give away many chances and uh, certainly second half we created a lot more. So, um, yeah, just a, a very, very good all-round performance. Such a different game to, to Tuesday night. There was there were so many chances on Tuesday night, far more chances than what you got here today. And it never felt like you really had to get out of third gear today. No, I felt that we had another gear to go up into. Uh, I thought we went into it a little bit more in the second half, um, but it was a bit it, kind of a bit bitty the, the first half, the first 25 minutes or so. There was a few stoppages. We never really got the tempo going. Um, nothing really happened majorly. But then I thought that the last part of the first half, we came alive a little bit, started to create in the wide areas better. And then, yeah, I thought we came out second half and we looked a real threat all over the pitch. And, and um, yeah, I thought we were well deserving. Uh, Woking in a, in a tough run at the moment, but they can be a real handful. They've got such size um, in EF Young up top, yeah. Musa Diara at the back, but they, they felt like they were really well marshaled all day. How did you do that? I think we were we were aware that maybe a lot of the goal kicks they they aim and they they're good when they can land on the second ball because then they play forwards quite quickly and they get beyond you and they they um, that's when they're at their strength. Um, but I thought that we got the midfield around and uh, we controlled kind of we lost some of the first balls but we controlled a lot of the second balls really well that allowed us to then take back control. Um, Aaron Aman is going to get plenty of plaudits. Um, one of your players that's had to bide his time yep. but coming to the team today and crucial involvement in both goals yep uh, did really really well I think it's I've said it before like players can be out and we wonder what's going on with them but they we haven't got a single player that doesn't train well and isn't ready to go so um, Aaron's been out a little bit I think the system hurt him a little bit when we play 3-5-2 because um, finding his kind of role wing back is um, not the perfect role for him but now the system change it kind of suits him a lot more and you can see the qualities that he can bring and I thought he did loads and loads of good stuff today but that's testament to the way that he's trained again because otherwise there's no way you can be ready to come straight in having not played um, and then deliver to, to a good level. I guess that's the, the kind of example that they can look to when they look at Eli Sam's story of late that you yeah. can be out in the cold but as long as you keep your head down there is going to be opportunity for it. Yeah, we never close the door as long as lads are working hard. And, and um, I think probably the way that Eli's been in recent weeks has probably given a lot of motivation to other players because they just see that um, kept his head down, worked hard. I thought it was brilliant again today. Brilliant. And, uh, and he took his goal so well. So um, he's looking a real handful out there. Well, he, can't, he can't stop scoring at the moment. I think he's got more goals than any Nuts player since the turn of uh, of, of the year. That was his, his sixth since, since New Year. What is it that he's doing out there that is is so impressive? I think he's, I, th I just think positionally and, and tactically he's adapted a lot. You know, he's got a lot of individual qualities, but when they're only individual qualities and not connected with what the team wants to do, sometimes it's uh, it's very up and down. I think his consistency has come by like understanding positionally better and and more in the team dynamic. So I think he's um, he's he's been learning a lot I think and um, you can see that in his game he connects with other players his movement's good um, and then his individual qualities that he's got really shine. Uh, no Cal Roberts today wasn't involved in the match day 16 which was very much to the benefit of, of Aaron Amman but what's what's the backstory there? Just got a knock in the Halifax game um, and he, he was struggling with that so he couldn't train on Friday so um, I guess we'll have to see um, might be a stretch for Tuesday um, but we'll have to see. Uh, you could you put a like sort of chance likeness on whether or not he'd be fit for Tuesday? I mean, no, it's uh, I think it's unlikely, but um, we'll have to see how we'll, we'll have to see how he is. Yeah, another opportunity for Aaron Man, I guess, though. But how important was it to come away here today and get those three points after the, everybody was frustrated leaving Meadow Lane on Tuesday with so many chances? How, how important was it to come here today, get those three points, going into such an important month? Yeah, I, I said after the game, I thought that our performance was good but the result maybe didn't necessarily reflect it and that can happen sometimes I thought today again performance was good I think the, that's quite a few in a row now where I feel like performance level's good it's not like we're struggling through games um, so just happy that the, re the result reflected the performance today.